till date the prime minister of india shri narendra modi has uh, kept his silence so his stoic silence on this issue makes us wonder we have to stop creating a wall we have to you know uh, create the environment that is peace that is that 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 facilitated the opportunities of education. The silence maintained by the Prime Minister is really going to alienate the indigenous people of the northeastern regions. This inaction of the government of India has only proved what we are accusing to be true. Even as peace and normalcy remains a distant dream in Manipur, student bodies in Kohima and Shillong on Wednesday organized candlelight vigils to pray for peace in the neighboring Northeast Indian state. Paying their condolences, prominent student leaders under the banner of the umbrella organization NESO questioned why Prime Minister Narendra Modi is still silent on the issue. Others asked whether the central government has done enough to restore peace and normalcy in the violence-hit state. The stepmotherly treatment of the government of India to the Northeast states and this inaction of the government of India has only proved what we are accusing to be true. We have only uh, been getting political injustice from the government of India right from the time of independence. And this non-implementation of ILP in Meghalaya, especially in Meghalaya and Assam and Tripura, is another step of political injustice and also the non-recognition and the non-inclusion of the Khasi and the Garo language to the H.A.D. constitution is also another political injustice perpetrated by the government of India towards the Indian peoples of the North East uh, Can you tell us why have you all decided to participate in this candlelight vigil? We, don't, we have to stop creating a wall. We have to, you know, uh, create the environment that is peace, that, is, that, that, that facilitate the opportunities of education and every, you know, uh, the 21st century's, uh, you know, materials and everything that we can assess with the uh, without denying the regardless of the caste, religions, or the parties, or whatever it may be. So we urge, we NSUS urge all the politicians, sages, religions, leaders to encourage to restore the peace in Manipur. Because the institution in Manipur is not affecting the people, the, the, the people who have staying in Manipur. This is also affecting the people, this, those students, which are state only who are pursuing this study in the Manipur. So the KSU is part and parcel uh, of the NISO. We take part in this study program and we appeal that the government here, the government of Manipur, should find where our meet, where our meet to address and bring back the normalcy in the state of Manipur. As an organization, are you also concerned about the flow of refugees from Manipur here in the state of Meghalaya? We are very much concerned. We have expressed to the government. We have met the Russian and it's the duty of the state government how to find out where and means to make sure that these people who have come came from Manipur after the university uh, is turned back to Manipur. Then we hopefully that these people also go back to Manipur. As we can see in the news, almost on a daily basis, people are being killed. People are people are being displaced. Houses are being torched. Vehicles are being torched and there are scuffles between uh, different communities there in Manipur. Yes, we have seen that the government have sent, uh, have dispatched a number of paramilitary and military forces there in Manipur. But uh, as per our understanding, we are of the opinion that uh, the, go the central government has not done its bit with regards to restoration of peace in Manipur. As you can see, that uh, the, this orgy of violence has been continuing for nearly two months. But till date, the Prime Minister of India, Shri Narendra Modi, has uh, kept his silence. So his stoic silence on this issue makes us wonder why, why, why is such, there is uh, such violence there in the state, but the central government, the uh, Prime Minister, has not even uttered a single word. Similarly, in Kohima, leaders of the Naga Students' Federation took out a rally under the aegis of the NESO. Addressing the gathering, the tallest student leaders from Nagaland demanded the centre to intervene and resolve the conflict. We are really shocked when the situation, the turmoil had been in a very volatile. The Prime Minister of India, till today, he has not given a single word.
the silence maintained by the Prime Minister is really going to alienate the indigenous people of the northeastern regions. Therefore, we urge upon him to speak out. It is very hard and it is very painful to see the state of Manipur been burning for the last 57 days. Just a year back, we were struggling in pandemic where the entire citizen of the globe was under traumatized, was under pain. And now we are very painful to see that the entire state of Monipur is burning and which is very painful. Today as we honorably and humbly organize this candlelight vigil program, we want to inform to the state of to the state and citizen of Manipur that Naga people and the Naga Students Federation are standing in solidarity with them. And we are we we condemned the actions, the killings which is taking place. Naga people will continue to stand in solidarity with the people of Manipur. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.